I think she's just so brave. You hope that if you were put in the same position that you would do what Lena does in the film, but you don't know, really. I mean, it's such, it's such an extraordinary act of courage. Um, so I found that really, I found that really compelling. Yeah. Do you speak to any survivors of Colonia? I think there are like five survivors or something ridiculous, or perhaps any of the victims' families. Um, no, I, I actually flew out to Chile and I, and I did meet and speak with um, with members. There's, I think there's more than there's more than five people alive who who experienced it. Actually, uh, it's that's what's so crazy is that it's actually not that long ago, and I feel like so little is known about it, which is extraordinary. And obviously the cult is just the definition of creepy. Yeah. Um, so did you do much research on cults or perhaps? Not cults in general. I think I was really trying to learn as much as I could specifically about Colonia. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely disturbing. Yeah. Did you have any particularly memorably bizarre experiences as well, perhaps while you were speaking to some of the survivors, anything they told you that really um, stuck with you? Gosh really difficult to sort of pinpoint one thing. I think it's, it was just sort of, what was strange was that even just being there, there was a sort of, there was a feeling or an atmosphere which, which was quite strong and quite pervasive. So I think even just, even if I'd spoken to no one, just, just going and being around the buildings and, and knowing what each of the different functions of the rooms were and, and whatever else was, was a pretty, intense experience. And obviously, as you say, Lena's just so courageous in the film, she's so strong. Did any women in particular inspire you while, while you were shooting? Uh, God, that's a great question. I think, I think Lena's very relatable. She's a very sort of like, she's an air hostess. She's a very sort of everyday woman. And so I would just say the women that I've met personally in my life who I've seen that kind of resolve and that kind of strength and that kind of thinking which allows them to do extraordinary things, um, which is just, you know, a kind of belief in themselves and, and, a, and a belief in what they're doing. Obviously you're a figurehead of feminism today and your role in the UN. Um, so how does that responsibility affect how you choose your film roles? Obviously it's a different, oh, perhaps that's a different interesting. dimension I guess... like that. Yeah, I, it is a different dimension, I think. Being a child star, as they call it, or, or having worked as a minor, um, you, do, you do sort of have to be aware of the, of, the, of the kind of trajectory and also kind of aware that, that people are viewing your performances through a very different lens. It's, I saw a really interesting article yesterday that, you know, people had seen the trailer and they're like, oh, you know, Emma Watson, like scandalous, like really trying to push the push the envelope and step away from Hermione and Harry Potter and whatever else. And it's like, oh, I'm just kissing someone, you know, and it's kind of like this huge deal. And it's so, you know, you're aware of that, but you also, I don't like to try and let all of that noise affect my choices and my decisions because ultimately if you live like that then you you know I think it would it would close me off to a lot of opportunities and and experiences and you know I'd never do anything if I yeah, well if I listen decisions to, all to make that. So. yeah <laughs> and there's some very disturbing scenes in Colonia like. yeah very tense, a lot of like, ooh. Um, yeah. And some particularly stri strike me were the violence against women, um, the yeah. humiliation scenes. Yeah. Um, I mean, the film is set in the 70s, yeah. but like you say, it's not that long ago, and yeah. similar treatment does still go on around the world. So yeah. what are your thoughts on where we are today in terms of stamping out violence against women? Gosh, unfortunately, it's still pretty chronic, really. I think one in four women will experience a form of violence in their lifetimes. So it's it's... I think it's probably not talked about enough how how actually pervasive it is. Um, I think we've got a long way to go. I think it's also become socially acceptable or just the norm that women should feel afraid walking around on alone, whether that particularly at night or you know or whenever. And I think it's sad that we that we live in a society where um, women don't feel safe to walk around walk around on their own. Okay. Um, 
And final question, um, just because I couldn't wait to ask you this. Yeah. What's it like fulfilling every girl's fantasy and playing Belle? Oh, great question. Um, definitely. Sorry, I'll three words you want, you've got to I've got whiplash from the last question to this. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, amazing. Um, I mean, she... It's just every girl's dream, really. I loved her as a... As a child, I loved all the music, I knew all the lyrics, and I loved that she was just this feisty heroine who, you know, whose whole life wasn't about marrying the most handsome guy in, in the village or whatever else. Her life was that she wanted to read and she wanted to go on adventures and she wanted to be her own woman and her own person. And I think she was sort of, she's probably one of my first tastes of feminism. Um, so pretty cool to be playing her now.